Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and in this video, I wanted to go over the forged transport object. So, a forged transport object is an object that you can assign the variables to and call send on, and it'll actually send the values of that object across the network to everything else. This can be both unreliable and reliable. It's up to you. So, the basic properties are uh, let's go over to this guy. So right now we're looking at a object to transport. So this is a forge tra transport object. Basically what you do is you derive from the forge transport object whatever class you want. Create any kind of serializable properties that are public. I don't know what this is doing here. That's, that's insane. Uh, and that's basically it. This is all you really need right here. So uh, you could just set up your, your properties. And since this is a default constructor, you don't even need this line. Uh, so just set up your properties and whatever and then later on somewhere else you can create an instance of that object you can assign the event transport finished this is an event that will fire once the object has been transported across the network to you uh, and basically all you have to do is assign the variables to whatever you want and then call dot send and the send has two arguments. It has a receiver, so you can specify who receives it, and it has a boolean for whether it is reliable or not. If it's not reliable, then it doesn't matter if this packet gets lost. Uh, so, once it has sent across the network successfully, the transport finished event will fire, which will run any logic you want in here, and it will also supply the target object that has now been updated. So, uh, we're gonna give it a run and see how it looks uh, over here inside of the editor. So, I'm gonna. I basically have inside my scene. I have the transport object as the scene name that I'm gonna be loading. I'm going to build this, and now let's run it. So I'm gonna make this the server and this the client. I just have it so that uh, when I press spacebar, it transports to others. And since I want to be able to see the debug log that happens, I'm actually going to make this guy the server and make this one the client so that. Uh, I can see the debug log. So I'm going to join in the server. And I have it so that when I press spacebar here, it'll fire it right off. So I'm going to press spacebar. And you'll see over here, the, trans uh, the transport has completed. And it now has the new variables that were sent across the network. Apple is 9, Brent is 3.14, cat is hat, and debug our dog is now true. So uh, let's take a look at the code real quick just to refresh on what has happened. So over here in the code, uh, we see that transport complete is the callback that happens whenever the transportation uh, has been transported across the network. This object got passed in. I'm actually debug logging out this transport object, but I could also just debug log out the target to string. It's the same object in this case. Uh, so we saw the transport has completed here. So the transport has completed. And then we just saw target to string which went through and, uh, well, that doesn't help, which went through, let me just go to the class, uh, went through here and it just printed out all the variables as a string. You can notice that the default values for these is Apple's 9, Brent's 9.93, or sorry, Apple's 0, Brent is 9.93, cat is cat, and dog is false. And when we press spacebar, it set those variables, sent them across the network, uh, and I press spacebar on the server, so the client received those variables, updated all of the values, called this event, and then printed them out. So that's basically it. So that's what a uh, that's what a forged transport object is. It's basically just an op uh, object with public properties that are serializable that you just assign whenever and say send at any time that you want, and it'll send across the network. Again, just to reiterate. You can specify who receives them, could, uh, and you can specify whether it's reliable or not. So please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.